The Space Shuttle Discovery touches down right here in Kern County, and your 23 talks to the astronauts. Plus, is our downtown ballpark in jeopardy? The latest on the city center project. And that old freezer you have could be a danger to your family. We'll tell you why you need to watch out. Your 23 News at 6 starts right now. Now, standing up for Kern County, this is your 23 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Todd Carley. Jackie Parks has the evening off. Well, history is made right here in Kern County. The 100th shuttle mission comes to a close today as Discovery touches down at Edwards Air Force Base. Your 23's Kane Faribault was there when the shuttle landed, and he has tonight's top story. A sonic boom ushered in Space Shuttle Discovery's final approach to Edwards Air Force Base today. 500 feet. Landing gear down and locked on board. Main gear touchdown. The 100th mission of the space shuttle started in Cape Canaveral 12 days ago. Discovery's mission to the International Space Station was extended when bad weather moved in over Kennedy Space Center. Almost out of fuel, Discovery needed a landing site, and the folks at Edwards were prepared. It's a surprise because the regularity of landings at Kennedy had been fairly high, but we always go on alert when there's a shuttle landing. We're ready in case something like this uh, is necessary. Well, the surprise landing attracted droves of media, as well as several spectators from around the area. Amy Pandis brought her kids out of school to see a piece of history. It was, it was very exciting, really neat. I mean, we we're kind of uh, immune to seeing all the neat different types of uh, aircraft, but uh, this was definitely the highlight of all of that. Ron Rickasner brought his daughter to Edwards as part of a school project. Well, she has to turn in a current event each week of something going on, and since when I heard this morning that they were going to scrub the uh, landing at Florida, I went to school and got her and brought her out here. The space shuttle may have landed, but its journey is definitely far from over. It'll begin a week of preparations, then it's a piggyback ride back to Cape Canaveral. Reporting from Edwards Air Force Base, Kane Fairbaugh, your 23 News.